Welcome to Earth Common Journal, The Launch Pod, where we invite authors, dignitaries, and guests to discuss our annual theme in an on-the-ground podcast series. In Volume 8, we discuss the shift of climate change to climate adaptation. We're your hosts, Jacqueline Ohm and Cole Kosh, and this is The Launch Pod. <laughs> episode we speak to Tegan Melnick, a fine arts student at McEwen University. So we wanted to have a little bit of a podcast series in celebration of volume eight which launched just today with the theme of adapt mm -hmm. and we were left with the prompt to have a discussion about climate change and climate adaptation and to get uh, our views on the subject matter. matter. So Tegan, <laughs> um, if you would like to riff on the subject. Um, I think like climate has always been something that's super important to me, and I feel just the the black and whiteness that people feel on it, and how it is bad or it is good, is something that we really should talk about, and that each person has their own way of looking at the world they walk on. Each person has their own like space in their mind for how they see the world. And who knows where the, like they have their perspective of the world has even come from. We're taught, we're told, we're, we're shown that wildfires are bad and we're shown that the flooding is getting worse and that animals are disappearing and humans are responsible. And it's a lot of responsibility as a human being when we come from animals that use the land the same way that we do. And the fact that our us deforestizationing the entire world and taking it over with buildings and more people is it's overwhelming and it's a lot to see because the more people that we have the more infrastructure we need for humans and it's it's hard because it goes back and forth but I think the adaptability in us comes from how the individual sees the world and what they think that they can do and what's important to them and acknowledging the that's okay to find that that's important. If you want to minimize your trash, if you want to have your reusable water bottle all the time and start getting in the habit of that and taking those steps of investing in sustainable products and surrounding yourself with people that feel the same way that you do, who you can share your vision with, I think is really important because then your worldview expands. And I think that's where the adaptability comes from. Hmm. I was thinking about how you were saying, you know, we have different species who also use the land, same as us, and perhaps humans forget that we are animals too. Mm -hmm. um, there's a book with some sort of clever name about, you know, when humans forgot that they were animals, that's when things started going a little bit awry. Mm -hmm. um, to take in account, you know, like Earth Common, it's it's all of us in this together. Whether or not you agree with their opinion, we're all headed towards the same sort of ecological destiny. Exactly. Um, and the communication that is required to listen. And I don't know what exactly it is that will help facilitate people to listen to differing opinions. Or if we're going to talk about facts, how people will be open to learning. It's about shock those facts. value. It's, it's when people realize that there's something really wrong or that something is really great. And like with the news and the things we see in regards to how bad our earth gets, the good news stuff isn't shared as much. And the way that we're cleaning up our oceans, some of the initiatives that are put into intact right now, they just released a huge, like rectangular shaped net out in one of our oceans. And it's it's an awesome mechanism and yes it takes up a lot of space and it kind of displaces a lot of the animals but the effectiveness that it's it's taking on cleaning up what we've done it's good it's really good yeah it's about trying different things um same thing i was just reading a newspaper the other day and it was talking about how in Al in alberta a province in canada which we are located in uh, it was exploring the new green energy sources mm. that are coming up um, in the province, which was an interesting conversation about if Alberta, who identifies as an energy province, mm -hmm. um, exchanging one energy for another doesn't change the identity. 
and that might be a big thing for a lot of people who are solid in their their energy identity and their family has worked in the energy sector for generations and they don't have to stop yeah it, there's point. just different opportunities which is nice because we have more people We're, we need <laughs> we need more sectors to 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 give jobs to everybody mm -hmm. yeah it's really important how about you <laughs> sorry i don't have much but uh i was thinking i i was talking with someone recently and they were saying how you know you have climate change deniers and people who are like super on it and he was saying that he looks at like there's a truck coming at us no matter what does it matter like who has their gas on like who has the gas on the pedal if we know some things can mm. mitigate and help shouldn't we do that yeah you know like it just doesn't make sense to like just continue to pollute everything even though you think that it's not causing climate change like don't just destroy the earth just because mm -hmm. like you know and yeah, part of me thinks that uh, there's a large population that is still stuck in the blame game and i get it there's definitely certain industries or systems that kind of perpetuate the issues that we see that um propels climate change but if we just get stuck on who is the worst of the worst or who's doing the least of the least mm -hmm. Um, we forget to have the conversation on, but what are we going to do? Mm -hmm. Which was a large um, motivation to switching one of the core topics of Earth Common Journal from climate change to climate adaptation. What are we going to do? And like you said, with the initiatives that you've read about regarding plastic in the ocean, is this also gives people the opportunity to say, oh, I want to do something. Like, I have anxiety about this. Mm -hmm. Whether or not we're going to whatever is going to happen is going to happen but i think sometimes it's nice to displace your anxiety into the energy of a project mm -hmm. um, especially if it there is some sort of hope or some sort of excitement like isn't this dynamic like what if there is a solution of saying we know how to take all the plastic right now mm -hmm. and just whatever it is Done, and turn gone. it in, turn it into trees or whatever it could be mm -hmm. um how exciting that could be and how many people who are worried would say well how can i help yeah and that's it i think I think in general, humans are want to help. Yeah, we want to communicate. We want to be compassionate towards something. Like um, our presenters today and one of the podcast authors on the one focused on forest fires on land, Berlin, I believe is her name. Um, she, what she spoke of have having the communicators. Oh, no, it was not. It, it was, was Michelle. It was Michelle. It was Michelle, yes. Um, she, when she spoke of how she was the only person in communications in a place like that and there were the business people around her saying like we should communicate more but they wouldn't outsource to something like that because why would you need communications in a science developmental infrastructure type of facility but like those arts and those communications and like those things are really important to help us all like see what we can do, how to feel about it. And if you feel strongly about something, no matter how small it is, it could be the shape of something or the color of the leaf outside that makes you feel some type of way, but having that like rock in your pocket or something that you've had as like a reminder to know where you've come from, it's overwhelming, but it's also so important. And like the earth is beautiful. So, <laughs> okay. I think that's it. That's all. <laughs> that's all the time we got today. Thanks for coming, Tegan. Tegan, thank you so much. <laughs> we, we've you. got our next first step, and um, we, we look forward to seeing I'm you. I'm so excited. Again. Yes. Okay. Thank you guys so much. I'll yes. see you soon. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you for listening to Earth Common Journal's The Launch Pod. I've been Jacqueline Ohm. I've been Gold Kosh. And stay tuned for our next episode.